Two new kill teams and a new kill zone are here for Warhammer 40k. Spiky bits. The kill team bus hasn't dropped below 55 miles an hour yet, so we have some more fantastic releases, but I think <laughs> just spitballing it. I don't know if that GW has any more turn in they can put with this stuff, but I digress. So this week, we've got some great releases for kill team. Uh, Necrons are actually pretty solid in kill team along with Nurgle. We haven't seen that Nurgle Death Guard one quite yet. I guess we got the one that came with uh, the... The Jeller Pox guys in the Rogue Trader box, but not quite true Nurgle yet. So this box set, both of these, the Exalted Scythe and the Advanced Team Star Pulse are both $60, but both have some very different actual values to them right here. At Killzone Wall of Martyrs. Wall Martyrs, as we joke on the podcast, goes for $80 and definitely has some uh, built-in value as well. And the two new dice sets, which I actually like. I'll tell you which one I like the most here in a second, but those are $12.50 each this week. So the Exalted Scythe set, like I said, is $60, and it's going to come with the Immortal slash Deathmark combo set in two sprues of the Wall of Martyrs. Defense lines, which is actually what comes in the box from Games Workshop. The defense lines are 4125, and the Immortal Deathmark kit itself is a little bit cheaper. It's uh, I think $33. So you're going to end up getting about a $74 value out of this box for your $60. And here's those big chunky Walmart defensive lines. Uh, they're actually pretty cool. And, you know, this is the back where they keep all the ammo and stuff up here is where all the, like, casualties and things, the dead, have kind of piled up. Kind of like, uh, I guess, maybe a little bit of homage to World War One. You know, you go over the line, uh, you might not come back. You might actually become part of the Earthworks themselves. So you get two of those sprues right here. Now, we've reviewed that stuff on the channel in the past. Your pack of tactics and your roster cards here as well as the objectives which is this hard cardboard piece right there and then two sprues which are different this is your immortal slash death mark squad and the basis for them and here you can see some of the content that's going to come in it now the match play mission cards actually look like they combine the wall of martyrs kill zone box to do a little bit more right here as you can see not all this stuff is the defensive lines that come in this kit and the what I thought was going to be the generic tactic here is actually key to the Necrons and the uh, Sector Imperialis uh, uh, terrain right there. So I don't know exactly how all that works, but we're about to uh, find out because that defense, I guess just the defensive line model, but that's not the defensive line model right there. That's the defensive position. So I guess they put the wrong picture on there and you can use the defensive line. I don't know. I'm not an expert at this uh, as far as like, I didn't write these rules, but I guess I guess it's right there. But then you have those same pictures right here. So just be aware of that. Uh, you may need extra terrain uh, depending on how all that shifts out. And then you've got your uh, points here for the guys that come inside. And there you can see some of their stats and all the tactics cards. Oh, and something else too that you're probably gonna wanna see is the sweet, sweet, markers and objectives as well so they look pretty fresh i won't lie i love how they do this little cardboard punch out sheet and then the instructions for everything right there next up we have the advanced team star pulse for tau who also come with the defensive line kit right there and also a box of fireworks slash breachers too now curiously <laughs> i don't understand it but the fireworks go for fifty dollars by themselves normally and like we said the defensive lines are 41.25 so it comes out to about a 92 dollar value for uh this box set here for 60 dollars. so clearly a better value for this box over the necron one but again most people are just going to be picking these up to actually just get you know the, all the tokens and the uh, tactics cards and such but just thought it was worth mentioning because if you're looking for a little bit of extra terrain or perhaps you know some more tau troops because everybody loves bubble wraps now in 40k that you can't fly over them see what i did there <laughs> so here's the fire warrior sprue now this is the newer one uh the newer fire warrior set cast in this uh kind of i guess it's more of like an off-white like almost a beige kind of color here 
Uh, and of course you get the little turret and all the extra breacher guns and things like that. We've reviewed this here on the channel and all the bases and things as well. So let's see what comes in their accessory pack. Same type of deal here. You've got two missions in here. One match play, one narrative play. Both look to use more of the terrain that's going to come in your kill zone box, which we're about to show you here. Here's all the points on uh, the whole squads here. Remember, there's 10 models in here. I think the kill team limit is 20, but I've heard of some uh, people house ruling to 10 models just because, uh, you know, your roster and such. But um, I'm not sure. I can't speak to it. I haven't played a whole lot of kill team yet, but there's an idea of what you can actually pull from out of your roster for these guys right here. And again, they kind of did the same thing with the generic terrain here. They show the picture of the, the point. I think it's the defensive point, I believe is what it's called. Oh, emplacement, it's called emplacement. And that is gonna be keyed to Sector Imperialis and of course, Tau right there. And then all of their specific ones, tactics as well. Then you've got their little fluff booklet about you know what's happening and all that sort of stuff. They're, these are pretty neat. And I really like, which I was about to show you when the dice, I really like the towel, like kind of look to it. There's just that striking white with that nice red. We saw this uh, way back in the day, I think when that first uh, uh, campaign came out with the towel and the Vostroian back in like 2005, 2006, I think it was. And there's that really striking color. I think it's towel set Laura, I want to say. Well, it's whatever they painted all these guys in. But I really like it. It's just very, very striking. So there's all the instructions and everything right there. And real quick, quick here is the two sets of the dice. Like I said, love the striking towel uh, scheme right here. We don't need to open these up. We showed you these like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. They don't change, it turns out. So I really like these dice. Even though they are... Uh, completely opaque and you can't see into them to see if there's any air bubbles. They're still very striking and 1250, you know, if you're only going to play Tau, it doesn't seem like too bad of a deal. I like the Necron ones too, but they're a little too busy or maybe maybe the green hasn't popped that much, but either way, uh, not a bad little design, I don't think. And of course, you can either use the Necron symbol as a six or the Kill Team symbol as a six, whichever, just make sure that you're using it the same one for the same thing. And last, but certainly not least, is the Kill Zone Wall of the Martyrs expansion. Now, this is where the true value is, because you got $80 uh, set off the shelf for retail right here, and it all with all the components included in here, and not even pricing out, you know, the cards and the extra terrain board right here. You're looking at a value of, uh, I don't even know. Let's see. I think it's one. Yeah, 137. So. We'll break down that right here. So the defensive line itself, we've already talked about this, 4125. The Imperial Bunker, 33. Then you've got the emplacement set, which is like these little ones and this big thing right here. That's 4125. There's actually two of these inside of it. So you can actually, you know, kind of uh, have a little mini sprawling network up there. And that's basically how it is set up on the board. So real quick, <laughs> Little correction want to say right here. It looks like Games Workshop site was actually wrong when I was doing my calculations uh, I went off their site. So this only comes with one defensive line The emplacement and the bunker right here, which reduces its value by about $30 So you're looking more around than just over hundred dollar price point for this when It's $80. So it's still not a bad deal. You're still gonna get stuff. You're gonna get some terrain Possibly new stuff for your kill team table. Not sure how effective it is in 40k. Uh, you can take it, but it doesn't really have a super effectiveness. But in kill team, it's definitely a little bit better. That being said, we've seen these already, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. That's the defensive lines there. This is actually the bunker that came out, I want to say like four or five years ago. I wonder if it's copyrighted. It is not copyrighted. This one said it was made in China, so. I'm sure they just kind of refired up the machines there. But curiously, I have a painted version of this from four or five years ago. And it exactly, the materials almost exactly match in color and consistency right down to the actual, and I don't know if you can see it, but on that round piece in the center right there, there's a little mold uh, or perhaps a die mark from the injection molding, which looks to be exactly the same on this item right here in my hand that I got four or five years ago. So apparently they're using exactly the same machines and everything like that, or at least the exact same molds and dies. Uh, but now I'm not sure, I can't say if this was made in China back then, 
and produced there, but I definitely uh, have this from back in the day. It appears to be very, very similar. Uh, it's an easy kit to put together and it's uh, kind of cool and very striking on the tabletop. You can definitely see where it gives you some opportunity to do a lot of cool weathering and all sorts of different neat little techniques and just kind of crack out and have some fun. And then the emplacement itself. Uh, these are kind of cool because it, what what how it works is you just kind of butt these up. You cut these up and you butt them up here. Or you can put these at the end of the defensive lines to extend them. Or you can and then cap them at this with this piece right here. Caps the end. So you can make a um, bunch of modular little designs right there for your new defensive lines. The game board that comes in here looks pretty fresh. I have to admit, I like the smaller size kind of fold up one than what came in the kill team box itself. And I kind of wonder if they have like a master table that they actually made and then they just kind of take a picture of it, stylize it and print it out and put it onto this right here. Cause those could easily be skeleton bits right there and some combined guardsmen just all painted up. I, I wonder which would take longer to do this in Photoshop or perhaps to actually make it with models and then take a picture of it and then of course the sector imperialis uh terrain right there too i don't have enough room to fold it out but it is your standard 22 by 30 uh game kill team game board size and last but certainly not least is all of the accessory cards here you got your little uh kind of pamphlet here on what is the wall of martyrs what is all this stuff here the little fluff booklet i love to call it right then you've got the benefits of playing on the Wall of Martyrs and the narrative and also match play missions right here, which I'll try to lay out so you can get a, a better look at, I suppose. Seems pretty easy, right? And then on the back, of course, they have sometimes some strat uh, some tactics and sometimes some specific layouts right there. And then a bunch of uh, generic air quotes tactics but what's cool about these tactics is that they're keyed to levels and like whether what type of um like veteran or i forget designation i will call it uh that you might have like a leader veteran etc 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 so pretty neat forward thinking right there that work with uh, any faction out there right so that is pretty much it a little correction on the values right there like we already talked about for uh, the Wall of Martyrs kill zone set right here. But overall, I think it's, you know, another great offering. Tau and Necrons are always very popular, so it's cool to see them finally get the love. But lots and lots of more factions out there. I think we have 25 factions in 40k if you count Yanari, I think now. So, and that's not even counting Tempestus and Guard as two different ones, which I don't think we have a Cadian one yet. So, I would, uh, if I was a Benny man, which I am, I would say we're going to see a lot more of these kill team boxes in the near to mid future of uh, release cycle from games workshop so that's it for this one i uh, hope you enjoyed them make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all of these videos spiking bits